We want every side to come together to attempt to take down the honey side. Man, they got to understand. We want all right? the smoke. We go off the content. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hey there, welcome back to the channel where we keep it real. No capping. I'm your host, bringing you nothing but straight fire and authenticity. Today, we're diving into 12 rooms that I got to promote the 100 ENT showroom, hosted by Big Wack 100, the Beehive Room, Love and RB Room, hosted by the Queen of the 100 side, RB, No Room for the Week, No Mercy Room. Spin the Block Room, 100 ENT Jake Break Squad Room, 100 ENT South Room, Petty Betty and Toxic Tanya Room, Dangerous Minds Room, hosted by Beast, Good Burger, hosted by Pitbull, Sleepless in LA, and many more. If you want to get closer or you want to be a part of the show, go to Clubhouse, follow one of these rooms, or you look for a room titled With WAC 100. These particular videos all made possible by the one and only WAC 100. Get ready to vibe with me as we explore the hardest topics that need some real recognition in the streets. Let's jump right into it and show some love to this channel by hitting the like and or subscribe button. So without further ado, hold it down, hold it down. One mic on WAC. Because I know it's top five rapper true. has now dropped down out of the top five. Never, because I know what he meant. Hey, listen. That nigga out of the certain, top five. That's not top five shit behavior. And certain era. Certain shit. Okay, <laughs> watch this. We go back to the 70s. Because you going right? to No, you, you know what you going to no, do, Wack? You going to leave Tupac the phone. Let's go back to the man, Leave Tupac alone. Oh, top five talk behavior. About. I don't respect Leave Tupac, Tupac alone then. I have no respect for Tupac as a man. <laughs> Rap music, yeah, as a man, I don't respect blood at all. Everything about that nigga is flawed. Ain't nothing flawed about Q. He's still standing. He you didn't went to war nigga. with the city. He didn't went to war with the city. The nigga's a the multi-millionaire. I don't respect nothing. I challenge anybody to have a Tupac conversation. I'm going to send you home crying. I don't respect nothing about the man. He a liar. The nigga said shit in his rhymes. You right. That's violating children. The nigga talking about Jimmy Hinchman is a rat. Just because he got the power of the microphone. Ain't never showed up paperwork. Ain't never been on the case. Ain't never been on nothing with Jimmy. I mean with Haitian Jack. The nigga got so paranoid he shot himself. He got in the penitentiary and didn't put no work in, body. All right, Wack. All right. <laughs> no, this real shit. Blood ain't called damn one, no damn right up, body. I didn't seen niggas get taken advantage of, come up out of there and bust a nigga upside the head with a hundred fifty pound dumbbell. It's real shit. I respect that man. Ain't nothing he could do in there with a nigga two hundred eighty pounds, bench pressing five hundred. He a buck twenty. Ain't nothing he could do. But he came out that motherfucker did something. We ain't heard about Wait. Pac stabbing a nigga. No, this you mentioned Pac name. Nah, can we I just tell you why phone? Pac. Let's just get up out the room, bro. We good. You had enough. I'm just we saying. I tell you why. You, enough, you can't. Bro. You we can't. I can go list down everywhere you went. You turned into that. You was a follower, sheep ass nigga. Digital underground. You had butterfly shirt. Right. Flower shirt on, dancing. Next thing you know, you back to New York. Baggy jeans and Tim's. With the hip hop b boy, you come to LA now. You sagging, talking about you a paru over here, but then cripping over there and got yourself smoked playing. My bad, Pac. My bad, bro. We want to talk about it, nigga. Don't compare no Pac to Q. Pac can't stand on the side. He should have at least the... did the shit. My bad, Tupac. He didn't uh, deserve this shit. You didn't. I'm just this no, this real shit. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, it's real shit. And then got marked out oh, when it was time to get out his contract. He parked to going onto a camera and saying, Death Row East. Fuck. <laughs> Tupac, this on me. I'm going to take this one. And then the latest claim Michael Jackson whooped his ass. Uh, 
Yeah, let's get the fuck up out this room. I'm gone, bro. This nigga not finna slam the Tupac like this, man. He just said Michael Jackson was the man spoke on it. He witnessed it. He said Michael Jackson. They got the work wax coat on. You not now. Google it. It's the Google it. It's a whole interview. He said, nigga, that nigga was disrespecting Quincy Jones' daughter. Mike said, I watched that girl go up and flighted him and whooped him. Pull it up. This nigga whack. I ain't gonna lie to you. Bro, 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 I dislike you. You think I'm capping? Nah, I'm a little bit. like my niece. <laughs> Yo, I'm bro. just saying, so don't ever. I can give you a checklist on the Tupac shit. That nigga did all that whooping about getting shot and ain't go shoot shit. Killed everybody on the microphone. Lied on face, say he hurt in fair. Oh, they shot me. You snitching there. Now you got me start. Pox a rat. You screaming about who shot you. Uh-oh. Oh, let's talk about it. I don't give a This on me, too, bro. Let's talk about it. Nigga get hit, he's supposed to go to the booth and tell the police. Everybody know Jimmy and, and Jack was in, you know, in a criminal crime life. So now you weren't up telling my nigga these niggas you put the, the, the light on them? How the fuck says screaming niggas they ain't shot you and calling them a snitch? LG, when he got locked, was he locked up? He got fucked. Oh, man, bro. <laughs> Hey, bro, John Singleton is a prominent director, bro. That nigga said we doing a real story on his life. We putting it all in there. LT was scared of it. So you telling me that's why John Singleton? That's a fact. Man, I got You want me to go get the content? I don't. I actually don't. I actually do it's not. It's a full-blown interview. I know, but I'm cool with you not doing it, actually. I'm good with that. I'm good without it. I'm just saying, like, I mean, you you the one threw Pac name in there. We was talking about Q. I heard what he said. That shit don't sound right, but I know what he meant. Nigga, you kissing to just pull my daughter mouth. That's what he talking about. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a little questionable. Yeah, I know. I'm not I'm even going to say nothing else about it because, nigga, every time I say no, something, No, no, you mentioned Pac, Pac bro. You attack Tupac. Everything bro, I say, you mentioned Pac. Tupac. I you mentioned Pac. See, one thing about is the world don't dictate my move and how I feel about shit. Just because niggas want to look the other way on shit, I ain't got to look the other way. I don't give a fuck. Well, I'm with you. I'm I with do you. it in the gap on all kind of shit. Now, did I say anything wrong about the pocket, the checklist? And yeah. then, he did the, then he did the worst of everything, baby. Himself killed playing. Visualize this shit. Las Vegas Strip. You think you finna go to the club? You see some. Ba hey, baby. Baby, what's that? Is? Hey, baby, I'm too. And then you start doing the electric man. Y'all know what the electric man is, right? <laughs> the electric man. <laughs> yeah, go go look at what a nigga doing in the chair. Nigga convulsions. <laughs> you talking about when a nigga eyes are wide open? Man, that nigga get to jumping. That nigga was jumping like popcorn popping at the motherfucking movies. That's crazy. But see, here go the problem with that, and I'm going to speak on it because I know what's going to YouTube, man. We don't give a like this. Any gangster, any real gangster, any real cook, any real mechanic, any real anything, when they start something, they know it's a, a preparation, right? A middle of it, and then a closing of it. A nigga start building a motor, he know how he got to break it down, prep it, and he got to finish it. If your girl go in there and start a meal, she got to prep the meal, she got to cook the meal, and then she got to finish the meal. And know when to turn it off so the food don't burn, right? 
any real gangster know you got to see it through. A prankster or a studio gangster I just talk that shit but don't live that shit. How you take off on a nigga that's a known killer and let him get away and you sitting in the passenger seat jumping out a window like you ain't got a worry in a motherfucking world. Cause his mind really wasn't gangster. Let's keep it gangster. Know how many times we done did something to a nigga or we done got out on some niggas. Nigga, we get back, yo, slam the block down, turn them lights out. Matter of fact, blood, we finna get to the other side. Shut this motherfucker down. We know they coming back. They hit. I make sure you got a team over there to hit back immediately. We got the homies over there on point. They already on that side laying low. They wait. All right, cool. Lay low. Nigga, we know it's gangster shit going on, nigga. This nigga was on some bowls or the clown. He was a studio gangster. You don't initiate a stomping out a known killer nigga, a real competent crip, and think ain't nothing gonna happen. This nigga running down a Las Vegas Boulevard like ain't nothing going on. I'm just saying, my nigga. All you Tupac fans, tell me he made great music. Miss me with that tough shit. Where you Where they go? Room over what? what? Right no, what, bro? <laughs> we, let's talk about it. Where they go? Let's <laughs> talk about that, bro. The room, wait, the let's room over, bro. It. We moving to the morning. That nigga is overrated <laughs> as an individual. Great music, but y'all start pumping like this nigga was something. What? Come on, bro. They shot me. They shot me. But go shoot him in the back. You know what you did when they shot a line in the microphone and told. They shot me. Talking about Tupac. Niggas talking about Tupac right now. No, it's real shit. Well, what? God damn it. Okay, so we know it defines a bad <laughs> nigga in the real life. Was Tupac? I'm gone, bro. I'm going to the late night. We talk about I'm him not... as an individual. I said I'm going to the late night, brother. I love you, bad. I see you later, brother. That's my point. So, <laughs> you the one brought the nigga up, bro. Like we politicking too. I was like, that shit, that shit came. I know what the nigga meant, but I heard what he said as well. <laughs> yeah, I know what he meant. The niggas be doing that. Look at that nigga kissing on that. What he meant? Yeah, that uh, that got us all there for a second, man. We, we yeah, that's what he meant. Yeah, that's what he meant. But he, what he said, sound fuck. But nigga, don't come in here hollering no Tupac. <laughs> Tupac is never a, a defense challenge to no artist, bro. I'm just being real, bro. We can talk about it. Nigga, you gonna get the whole Tupac regime, nigga. I wear you niggas ass out with his reality. That's a fact. And then you don't even want me to hit you with the icing on the cake. Nigga died worth a hundred thousand. Get the guy out of here. He's a yeah, bozo. Yikes. I'm out. Mm. And there it is. Y'all still with me? If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe or drop a comment down below. Yeah, love, this shit finna go crazy. This shit finna go crazy, boy. <laughs> yo, hey, yo, 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 did you slap 